Today on My Community, we share some motivating stories from communities Australia-wide. Coming up, tribes of Aussies conquer Sydney's secrets for charity at the Great Tribal Chase. Local resident and lifelong activist Elaine Norling tells of her passion for justice and peace. Planet Unearth stirs up Melbourne with the question of marriage equality. And a day in the life of a truly inspirational young woman, finding passion and purpose through a focus on her ability. Hey guys, welcome to the Great Tribal Chase. Today, Sydney's got to be stalked and conquered as tribes battle it out to raise money for charity. Let's have a closer look. Well, the Great Tribal Chase has been a fundraiser that we've been planning for the last two years. So it's been a well and truly thought out event, but it's really just like the amazing race that people, most people see on TV. It's a treasure hunt, it's an urban race, it's about having clues and finding your way around the pathway, navigating it to actually get the answers to those clues and then getting back to the very place where you started, hopefully. So that's what it's all about. Most importantly though, it's raising money for Good Beginnings. Good Beginnings has been around for 50, just over 15 years. We celebrated our 15th anniversary last year. Um, we run early intervention and practical parenting programs around the country. Um, programs such as play and learn groups for children to help with the early childhood development and also help parents who might be struggling with their parenting skills. <laughs> hey guys, we are here with... Ready for home! home! <laughs> We've got all these people who have fundraised um, and donated. We've raised almost $50,000 from the general public now, which is fantastic. It's gone beyond what we thought it would be. But of course, the donations are still coming in. So I would really hope that that's going to go well over the 50000 and some in, hopefully so. And of course, today here at the event, people can do a gold coin donation as well. So we hope to uh, there's no limit on the upper raising funds. Hey guys, we're here at one of the checkpoints, the aquarium, and we have the aquarium team leader here. Jenna, welcome. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. Now, um, Jenna, can you tell us a bit about what you're doing here? Uh, we've got the great tribal chase going at the moment. So today we're yellow checkpoints, yep. and we have a challenge for each yellow team that are coming around in the race. Yes. So today's challenge, we have the pedometer. Pedometer. You attach to your shoe. Attached to my shoe, okay. Yes. So, so as soon as they get to this checkpoint, they basically have to do this activity to get points, is that correct? That's correct. So it's 15 points and you have to get a minimum of 30 clicks in 60 seconds. 30 clicks in 60 seconds. It sounds doable. Alright, here we go. It. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I'm going. <laughs> Did it's nearly Is that 60 seconds? Yeah, look, I'm oh, okay. there. How many did I get? 43. 43. Good work. That was close. Thank you, Jenna. Hey guys, we're here at the Pitt Street Mall checkpoint and apparently we have to find a muffin man. A muffin man. Oh, where am I going to find a muffin man? Yeah, look, uh, Families Australia, I'm the CEO. Um, what we do is uh, we work to celebrate the importance of families and to work with governments to try and make sure that they give priority to family wellbeing and particularly children. We're really excited to be involved with the great tribal, tribal chase because Families Australia works a lot with Good Beginnings Australia. We run National Families Week, which is happening in the middle of May. 
this is one of the great events leading up to National Families Week, and it's really about celebrating the role of families uh, in our lives. It's really the most fundamental and important building block of our society. We have big challenges every day when we're working with some of the children and families and some of the deals that they're actually having to deal with. And we've got great staff and great volunteers also at the local level that do that. So I think for us, we're an organisation that's pretty bold. We're, you know, we believe very strongly in our um, cause. We have a moral obligation to give every child a good beginning and therefore we will go to the ends of the world to do that. Well guys, it's been an absolutely amazing day. I've been to parts of Sydney I've never seen before and met a lot of amazing people. So if you guys want to know more, make sure you go to Good Beginnings Australia, www.goodbeginnings.org. And don't forget you can still donate. But until then, I think we should race to the finish. And I'm going to chase you. Bring it on. See ya. Two, three, four. You ready? Community! <laughs>